Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing the Silverado HD ZR2. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Lurch Miller Chevy here in Murray, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a 6.6 liter turbo diesel V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. This engine is known as the Duramax. Power outputs are 470 horsepower and then 975 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see the venting there in the center, which I think looks really cool. I like how it's all blacked out. And then off to the side, you can see we've got the Allison Transmission Duramax badge. And then we do have cab lights at the top of this truck. And then down below, you guys can see the daytime ring light. And I like the headlight design as well. Notice how a lot of it's blacked out. And then you actually have some carbon fiber print built into that, which is pretty cool. ZR2 badge here with not a Chevy flow tie, which is interesting. It's uh, actually filled in unlike the 1500 series ZR2, but you still have the red accenting, which is cool. And then we do have the red tow hooks there at the bottom as well. We've got fog lights on either side. Notice how the bumper's all blacked out. And then you guys can see with this, they've shortened the uh, size of the air dam because it's supposed to help out with, you know, front end approach angle. And putting it all together, this is really cool looking for an HD truck. But let me know you guys think about the front end design. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 305, 70, 18 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see with the wheels completely blacked out. And notice how the wheel says ZR2 on it. That's another cool thing. Um, but these tires, I'm a huge fan of them. They last a long time um, in terms of just like the mileage, but they're also really good for off-roading as well. And then we do have independent front suspension here with the Silverado ZR2. And you guys can see part of the Multimatic shock there. And then big chunky fender flare ZR2 badge here on the side and then you can see 2500 HD. And then notice how the mirror cap is all blacked out. Same thing with the door handles. And then this does have power side steps as well. And then we got the bed side step on top of that. And then big chunky leaf springs here in the back and then you can see the Multimatic shock there in the back as well. And then here is the full side view with this ZR2. You guys can see the stance with the lift and everything. It looks, again, really sharp. And it, it's it's hard to tell based on camera, but you guys can see we've got some like 1500s and some HDs in the background there. And this truck just towers over them. Now, taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function, remote start. We got the tailgate drop down as well as the Chevy bow tie there on the back. Now, popping into the bed, first off, this one has the multi flex tailgate. So this pulls down to be a step, if I can uh, pull it out. <laughs> there we go. Apparently my finger strength is uh, not very good today. But anyways, <laughs> the whole delegate setup, that was pathetic. Um, anyways, we also have the setup here for the fifth wheel prep. Um, you guys can see we've got LED lights and we have a full power outlet as well. And then we got a grab handle to help out with getting in. And then in terms of the bed length, it looks like it's about six and a half feet, just uh, eyeballing it. And then we do have the ZR2 logo there at the very end of the bed and let's see if i can uh, put this together better than pulling it apart okay that part's easy and then with the rest just lift it up and then taking a look at the taillights really cool design there you can see zero two again and then you got all the rest of the badges here parking sensors at the rear and then unlike the 1500 they don't change the exhaust tip location or anything like that or how the exhaust tip pokes out the back they just keep it the same Putting it all together, let me guys think about the HD version of the ZR2, but you know, so far, pretty, pretty beastly. Now, just like the 1500 ZR2, you've got this easy to clean material, which I think is really cool. I like that strip too. And then you got the neon stitching. So basically identical to the 1500 series truck. And you can see the storage down below. And then taking a look at these seats again, neon stitching, and then look at this, the behind the seat storage. Little perforations here in the center. So again, to be easier to clean. And then we do have some more storage underneath as well. Now legroom back here is fantastic. We also have a little storage pocket. We've got some cup holders, heated seats in the back, USBs, we got some vents. And this also happens to have a cup holder armrest in the rear. And then headroom back here, it's really good. 
Now taking a look at the front door panel, you guys can see again soft touch here and then look at the trim at the top and then again with the neon stitching. All of our window controls here, um, the front two are automatic. We've got our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do extend out and they power fold in as well and then we do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. Speaker for the Bose sound system here. And then payload capacity is going to be less than a regular 2500, so you guys can see 2928. Um, a big part of that is the softer suspension that comes along with this ZR2 package. And then taking a look at the front seats, again, look at that cool design, all the little perforations there in the center. Power adjustments here on the side. And then we've got our parking brake right here, heads up display controls. We've got this for our drive mode select and our drive line select up above it. Uh, and then you also have your tow haul mode. And notice this does have a two speed transfer case as well as an advanced four wheel drive system. We've got our light controls here and the steering wheel is manually adjustable. Taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see soft touch all around. We do have rated controls on the back of the steering wheel. We also have controls for center stack, voice command controls, heat steering wheel button on the steering wheel. We also have our cruise controls. And then you've got a turn signal windshield wiper stock, as well as a column shifter. Notice the column shifter has plus and minus, so you can shift the gears yourself if you want. And then we do have a big digital gauge cluster. We can scroll through different menus, see different bits of info on systems within the truck. Definitely useful stuff overall, I'd say. And so uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, this has pretty much everything you could want for, I guess, an off-road truck. Uh, let me know which page you'd probably pull, but for me, always speed. Got to make sure you know how fast you're going. Anyways, we do have the tow haul mode. It'll pull up a little trailer there. And then you can also have the off-road mode. Unlike the 1500, we don't have a terrain mode, which I do find uh, somewhat interesting. And then there's a quick look at a truck in front of us and the heads-up display. Now this does come with a 360 camera system. So first off, trajectory lines turn with the steering wheel and you can see all the different viewpoints here with the truck. So really good system. And I mean, it's a big truck, so it's nice that you do have all of the different camera views. So definitely gonna make parking this and everything a whole lot easier. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, um, you've got the little kind of like side tab here. You got the main screen. Uh, response time with both of them is really good. We do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We also have a bunch of shortcut buttons there on the side to make using it a little bit easier. Some analog controls down below for the infotainment system. Diesel exhaust brake, lane departure, parking sensors, tailgate drop down. You guys can see with the hazard lights, stability control, that's rolled down all the windows at once. And we do have a rear locking differential as well as hill descent control. Trailer brake controls integrated from the factory. We also have our controls for the dual zone climb system. We have heated and ventilated seats with this, so nice luxury features. Got some storage there, and I like this little trim here on the side, the gray trim. Some cup holders, and then again, you can see the center console mimics the trim that you have on the door panel. A very tight fit and finish. It's one of the things I love about the Silverados. Wireless phone charging pad, and good storage overall. We do have a power outlet built in on top of that. Nice clicking sound. And then you can see the dash again. More of that trim and the stitching that goes across. Neon stitching to be exact. And then you've got that same trim on the front of the glove box. Double glove box, by the way. I think is pretty cool. And then we do have a camera rear view mirror and we've got a power setting rear window and then a sunroof. Almost forgot to go over the towing capacity on this truck. It is 18,500 pounds. And then here's a window sticker for the ZR2. Uh, so base price is $70,000. Now the diesel powertrain is 9,500 bucks basically as an option. Uh, so it looks like you could technically get a ZR2 without a diesel, which would be interesting. Um, but you've got a few other options aside from that. Total MSRP is 87,905 bucks. Now, normally this is where we do the driving portion of the review, um, but this particular ZR2 happens to be pre-sold. So out of respect for the new owner, we are not gonna be taking this out and driving it. But I do have some really good news. I recently reviewed a GMC Sierra 2500 AT4X AEV edition, which is basically the same thing as the ZR2. Obviously this ZR2 isn't the AEV edition, but in terms of these shocks, the suspension, just how the truck drives, that truck drives identical to this. And so, sorry, fart can exhaust. And so in terms of how this truck drives, it is softer with the suspension compared to a regular Chevy Silverado 2500. So you do have a little bit more of a comfortable ride overall. And obviously I did not take that AT4X off road, um, but I imagine that will also translate into a more comfortable ride off road as well. And so if you just want a more capable diesel 
Silverado, that's kind of what this HD uh, is supposed to do. So it's not gonna be as, I guess, capable off-road as, you know, the half-ton ZR2, but it's gonna be more capable than any other, you know, 2,500 or 3,500 Silverado that you can get up to this point. So let me guys think about the new ZR2. I think this truck looks great. I like the concept and I'll be excited for when they put this on the 3,500 series truck because that'll be pretty crazy. I'll see ya.